Welcome to XR template tutorial number six for XR Web Designer 7 Premium Software. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the zoom tool and the push tool. For the zoom tool, we'll be going over how to zoom in on objects. We'll be going over how to zoom in on a selection, how to zoom in on a drawing, how to zoom the page, and how to zoom at various zoom factors. We'll also go over reverse zooming to zoom to a previous zoom state and we'll also go over the push tool and using that to move around in your workspace in XR Web Designer. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a brand new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, make sure that you select the zoom tool. Well actually no, don't select the zoom tool yet, we're not ready for that. Let's go ahead and draw a square using the quick shape tool here in the toolbar and draw your square and once you draw that let's go to the zoom tool now by default there should be a, a zoom icon here that looks like a magnifying glass but this in, in this case the push tool is showing so it may or not show may or may not show that there if you see a hand um, that's where your zoom tool is going to be hidden in these options here and you're going to pick the zoom tool the first icon by itself with the magnifying glass left click that and then your info bar make sure it's set to 100 percent by default it should be but in this case mine is not set at 100 percent because I was already doing some modifications in the document before this tutorial so go ahead and set that to 100 percent by left clicking and in the drop down menu picking 100 percent and that'll put you to 100 percent of the actual size of this square and once you do that let's go ahead and well we already have the zoom tool selected so we don't have to select it again let's go ahead and left click and drag around this square and you'll see that there's a red line that uh, is resizing as I left click and hold the left click mouse button and drag so left click hold the left click mouse button and drag with your cursor and it'll select around this square and release your left click when you've figured out what you what part of the square you want zoomed in so left let go of that and it'll zoom into this square and you'll see in the info bar it's increased to 343 percent zoom factor so we're zoomed at in 343 percent let's go ahead and hit the undo key in our standard toolbar up here so I can demonstrate this one more time and also in our info bar let's set it back to a hundred percent for our zoom factor and then let's go to the quick shapes and draw another square and then go to our zoom tool in the toolbar and select the magnifying glass that's by itself left click that and again all you have to do is left click hold that left click mouse button down and drag this part of the selection that you want to zoom in. So let's say we only want to zoom in on and focus on this half on the left hand side of the square. Now it's going to be emphasis on this side. And if we do that again, left click and drag, it'll get closer and closer to this side. So you can keep doing that multiple times until you get exactly where you want on that square zoomed in. Now let's say that, you know, we want to zoom in on a bottom left hand corner of the square we can left click and drag and it'll focus in on this bottom left hand corner and this is useful if you want to want to edit things up really close to make sure the detail is really perfected and right now we're zoomed in actually if you look at the info bar at a thousand three hundred and forty six percent so that's very close and you can make some very fine detail edits being this close to the object uh, if you like, if you say, hey, you're done with making your edits, you don't need to make any more edits in a document, and you don't want to probably edit your document at 1,346% for everything. So once you make the finer details changes to the square, you can zoom out by going back to your toolbar here and selecting the 100% zoom factor in your zoom tool options. So select that, left click it, and it brings us back to the actual size of this square. If you go back to your zoom tool again, we can zoom to page. 
and we're going to select uh, zoom to page which is this one right here with the with the paper icon kind of behind it so select zoom to page and now you'll notice you can see the full page or full workspace that you're working in it's kind of like the equivalent of a uh, printing preview in a, a word processor except for we can still make edits in this mode and this is very useful for seeing what the full design looks like so if you're printing like a flyer out and you want to see what the full flyer would look like being zoomed to the page will help you to see what the full design looks like together as one piece uh, let's go back to the zoom tool and the zoom tool uh, bar here in the toolbar and we're going to select uh, zoom to drawing and you'll notice that it zooms in and it centers this square on the screen and because this is the only object we have in our drawing it zooms to this specific part of the drawing now let's hit the uh, let's go to the undo button in the standard toolbar up here and then let's go to the uh, the zoom factor in the info bar and select 100 percent and then we're gonna draw another square on the canvas here we're gonna draw a few squares actually so draw a few squares go back to your your zoom tool in the zoom in the toolbar here and let's select zoom to drawing now you'll notice it zooms in on all these elements because they're all a part of the drawing so any objects you have on the screen it will zoom in on those because because it because it's considered a part of the drawing now if you go to zoom to selection because we had this specific square selected it zoomed in on that and I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a moment here let's go to the toolbar again and select zoom to 100 percent and then once we select that to 100 percent let's select the zoom tool that doesn't have the 100 percent on it and now that we have that selected we've activated the zoom tool options and let's go to zoom to selection and before we select zoom to selection you'll notice that we have one square selected because of the nodes that are surrounding it this is what it's going to zoom to because this is our selection so let's go to zoom to selection and you'll notice it zooms in on that square because that's the object that we have selected let's go to our info bar and let's put it to a hundred percent again and then let's go to our selection tool in the toolbar and let's hold the shift key down while, hold, while holding the shift key down select multiple squares so I left click on this one while holding the shift key left click by holding that one on the shift key and you'll notice that we now you can release the shift key after you've selected everything and you'll notice that it has square nodes around this whole thing because this is all selected so if we left click and drag this it moves all those squares and I'll show you that one more time with the selection tool selected which we have is selected right now according to the toolbar let's left click on a square you can release that you can release the left click mouse after you select it then hold the shift key down on your keyboard and left click on another square while holding the shift key and don't let go of it because we're going to select another square so hold the shift key down still and left click on another square now we have three object selected you can let go of your shift key too now we have three objects selected I'm gonna do it one more time so left click off of these squares left click a square hold your shift key left click another square keep the shift key down don't release it yet left click another square then once you have all the squares selected that you want let go of your shift key and when you hold the shift key you'll notice that there's a plus and minus uh, by the cursor and I'm, I'll keep pressing it on and off just to demonstrate that I got the shift key pressed down you see a plus and minus right by the cursor that means that I, I can select multiple objects if I release it I can only select one object at a time so if I select let's say I select off of the selection that we have if I select that it just selects that square if I left click on this it just selects that square but if I hold the shift key plus and minus comes up I can left click on that one plus and minus still activated so that means I still have the shift key pressed left click on that one 
now that I've selected everything I want I can let go of the shift key now we have these three objects selected and another way to know how many objects you have selected other than looking at the nodes around these objects is that if you look at the status line at the bottom here it'll say three rounded rectangles so and as you see on the screen we have three rounded rectangles and uh, it's all it's on the mouse off layer but we won't worry about that we'll get into that later when we start talking about layers but um, with all those selected if we go to the zoom tool and we choose zoom to selection the last option here it'll zoom in on all of that because we have all three of those objects selected whereas before when we only had one object selected which I believe it was this square it zoomed in on the full thing rather than these other two squares here so that should give you a pretty good overview of you know what the the zoom tool can do and uh, its ability to help you when um, making edits in your document so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the zoom tool you can select whichever one you want and then we're going to set it in the info bar to a hundred percent so we're back to our standard size view of the squares now now that we've done that I'm going to show you how to zoom to the previous zoom if you go to your info bar up here with the zoom tool selected you can click the reverse zoom or previous zoom if you click that this is the zoom that we were just in so it, when you click previous it goes to this zoom and if we click that previous zoom again it goes to the most recent which is this one so it goes back and forth so if you click, keep pr clicking previous zoom it goes between the first and previous so previous first previous first previous first it goes back and forth between the most recent zoom and the most previous zoom so this is the previous, this is the first, I mean the most recent, previous, most recent, previous, most recent. So you should get an idea. It goes back and forth between the two most recent zooms. That's the easiest way to remember it. Is it goes back and forth between the most two recent zooms. When you click the previous zoom button. Uh, now if, if you wanted to get to, a, let's say you wanted to zoom in a specific percentage on your document you could also do that in the info bar you could highlight this and you can put in maybe you want to zoom in uh, 110 percent so type 110 hit enter and you zoomed in 110 or maybe you want to zoom in 150 percent now we're zoomed in at 150 percent so there's a few different ways that you can uh, adjust your zoom level other than just using the the options in your toolbar the info bar allows you to make a few different changes too so next let's go over the push tool and that's this little hand glove looking thing left click that and once you have the hand tool selected you'll see that now your cursor looks like a hand and if you left click and drag while holding the left click mouse button it'll drag the full workspace around and if you move your hand tool over here you could do it again you can left click and drag it around moving the, the cursor around just kind of determines your position like if I've selected here that means it's going to move from that particular start point if I start over here it moves from this start point and it moves the screen around so just left click hold your left click mouse button and drag drag it around and it'll move your screen around this is very helpful if you want to focus in on a specific part of your document so left click and drag over here you can focus in on that square and it doesn't matter if you place the hand tool above one of your objects it doesn't select it or move your objects itself it moves your full workspace and all your objects stay in the same positioning so it doesn't don't worry if your your hand tool is over an object it's not going to do anything to it so that pretty much covers everything that that you need to know in terms of uh, moving around in your workspace and I apologize if you can hear some some noise in the background my phone is ringing so I apologize for that but that covers everything in this tutorial and uh, again we covered how to use the zoom tool and we cover how to use the push tool in Xara Web Designer so hopefully you have a better understanding of how to do that and 
please ha pay us a visit at uh, azartemplate.com. Again, that's azartemplate.com. Visit our website and subscribe and stay up to date on a few things that we have coming out. And also subscribe on YouTube. And if you think we did a good job, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, send us a question on YouTube and we'll be glad to help you if you have any questions about how to use the Zoom tool or any, any of the lessons. You know, if there's a video that you're watching and you need help, send us a message and we'll do our best to help you with um, learning how to use the program. Thank you again and thanks for viewing Xara Web Designer 7 Premium lesson number six on the Zoom tool and the push tool.